morning. Today is Tuesday. It is the 2nd of March. Tomorrow I am actually traveling down to Underberg to spend a couple of days with family, which should be all good. Today, however, I just got back from Keegan's house. We were at Sun City up until yesterday. I'm so excited to go home. Actually, on my way here, on my way home, I drove past a pawn shop. For some reason, it had never crossed my mind because if you guys know in my last vlog, I was trying to sell, not my last vlog, not my Sun City vlog, but the vlog before that. I was trying to sell my laptop and I placed it on Facebook Marketplace. I haven't been able to sell it to people because I've been like out of town at Sun City and stuff. And it's just a little bit too much effort for me right now to schedule a time to meet up with random strangers to sell them something that they first need to test and like switch on and all those things. So instead, I took it to this pawn shop and I sold it to them, which took all of what, like 10 minutes? Best thing I've done today, I must say. Also, I want to start this vlog off with a little bit of a grocery haul because I needed to pick up some snacks for tomorrow. I plan on leaving super, super early tomorrow. So I don't want to have to wake up and think of snacks and stuff. I also got my car checked, my tires, my oil, my water. I filled it with petrol, all that good stuff so that in the morning I can wake up, put the things I need to put in my car and then just start driving. First and foremost, my favorite driving snack is some jelly teddies. Actually, my favorite driving snack is biltong. But since I can't do that, I am doing meat-free march, meatless march no no meat march i can't remember what it's called but i am not eating any meat for the month of march i picked up some pasta i got a bunch of meat free things that can kind of trick my brain into thinking i'm still eating meat when we all know i'm not so i got some meat free sausages meat free chili burgers and meat free chicken strips I also got just a salad mix that I can have for lunch now and for dinner tonight. Got a pack of noodles, some foil. I got some popcorn for the road. I don't know why, but I love these so much. I got these like rainbow candies. That's a big bag. And then I got three little bags of it. So those are driving snacks. I also just got some peanuts and raisins. Of course, I got some sour cream Pringles four bean mix and just some black beans and I got some sugar-free cool drink. That is the haul. I'm gonna sanitize all the stuff, pack it away, make myself something to eat because I am starving and it is 1.17 p.m. I need to unpack my bags from Sun City and repack them for Underberg. I had such a good week, you guys. It was such a good trip at Sun City. It was so much fun. You will have seen that vlog by the time you are watching this. The quad biking, we didn't even expect to do, but we ended up doing it anyway, just because we like woke up and felt like it. And it was the best part of the whole trip. Being that close to the animals, being on a quad bike for the first time, having so much fun with everyone there. It was just, it was such a blast. It was such a blessing and I really enjoyed it. Before I call it a night, I wanted to show you guys my dinner. It is pasta in just some like typical red sauce. And then I added some of these vegetarian fake chicken strips, which aren't actually too bad. It's a really good dinner. It's just pasta and some side salad. I think I might survive this no meat thing. Good morning, guys. Wait, you can't see me at all. Okay, hi. It's 5.30 and I am leaving my place now. We have apparently a 6 hour and 21 minute drive ahead of us. Underberg is around about 580, 590 kilometers away. Let's hope that I can do this in under 8 hours because knowing me, I want to drive slow. I'm going to stop for as long as I can and grab something to eat when I'm halfway. I have my coffee for the first bit of the road. I have my snacks in here as well. So yeah, let's go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling 
8.55 and I stopped for a pee break, stretched my legs a little bit, and I got myself some breakfast. I got a decaf cappuccino and I got it with a breakfast bun, but, wait, let me, why is my mask still on? <laughs> I got a breakfast bun, but I had to get one without bacon or meat or anything like that. So this one has, as you can see, just egg, cheese, and some onions. So I'm trying my hardest to continue to stick to my meat-free march, which... Well done, Andy, for choosing to do this in the same month that you have to travel two weekends in a row. I'm also trying to make sure that I track my spending because you know how usually we go home and we just kind of end up spending whatever the hell is left in our account without a second thought of what exactly we're going to survive on when we come back to Joburg. There's like a random lady outside looking at me. We're still, we're still on track. My family has already sent me a list of errands that I need to run when I get to Pietermaritzburg, which is the closest city to Underberg. So I'm gonna have to stop there and get a couple of things, pick up my other sister and my nieces while I'm there, and then we all drive to Underberg together. So there was a ton of traffic on the road because there was so much fog for like an hour. There was also like a lot of cars, a lot of construction on the road, so we had to go down into single lane a bunch of times, a ton of trucks on the road, and just the whole thing. Even if the sky is falling down sorry for me when I say that I'm doing like this long drive down to Underberg from Johannesburg and they're always like oh my gosh you're going alone don't you want company blah 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 and I'm always like no I love this like I love doing long drives I don't know about you guys let me know in the comments what do you prefer because for me what I hate is if I'm doing a short drive or if I'm driving and I have to keep stopping like every 10 20 minutes so if I need to go and run errands and I have to keep getting in and out of the car that annoys me but in terms of a long drive where I just get to sit and put on my music and sing and be the superstar I know and believe that I truly am deep down inside please don't feel sorry for me every time you hear that I have a super long drive dude relax People drive like crazy though! myself in a lighting store because I'm here to pick up these lights for my sister. <sighs> this is interesting. This light stand. I don't know. Interesting. I also really like this one. It's like a rose gold hanging thing. It's really pretty. Our kitchen floor is being redone, retiled, and hopefully by tomorrow my brother can replace that light with the one that I picked up. And I keep hearing thunder so I guess it's gonna rain soon but 
The mealies look really good. Hopefully I'll be able to pick some and take some back to Joburg with me. My brother and my two half-brothers are here and two of my sisters are here, my parents are here and my two nieces are here as well. So it's quite a lot of us, um, but I'm excited to chill, spend some time with them and enjoy some farm fresh air, I guess. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day and call it a vlog. Honestly, I'm so tired and so exhausted just from the drive and the whole day and I'm just tired. I did surprise Megan at her job when we first drove into Underberg. So it was really nice to see her. I think she forgot that I was arriving today because she knew, she definitely knew. But it was really good to see her for a few minutes and I'll try to have dinner with her sometime this week. So that should be fun. Otherwise, I think that's it for this vlog. So thank you guys so much for driving down to Underberg with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the scenery at least. Probably not so much my singing voice, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog overall. I'm sure you guys can hear in the background, I'm missing out on some conversation. So I'm gonna go catch up with everyone and I'll chat to you all on the next video. Don't forget to spread good vibes and be kind. Bye.